Hi, good morning all. This is Michelle James. Um, it looks like I've missed the bus. This is Tuesday after the bank holiday, so it's really quiet. Most of the kids, um, well, all the kids are on holiday now. So let's hope and see if I can get to work quite sharpish. But anyway, I decided to shoot this video today to tell you about um, a scam in the UK called PPI. And what that is, it's the Payment Protection Insurance. And um, loads of people in the UK who took out loans, credit cards, um, higher purchase, um, store cards were forced into taking out payment protection insurance. And this payment protection insurance was said to be handy if you, um, sorry I've just got distracted, yeah it was said to be handy if you end up losing your job or you're unable to work, it will actually pay off your, your loans. Um, you know, your loan, your credit card, store card, whatever it is. But then um, a few years back, about 2007, um, they finally realised that these payment protections were actually sold unlawfully. So the reason I'm shooting this video today is because um, they've been going on about it for years now, like I said, since about 2007, telling everyone that if they took out any loans and payment protection, that they should contact their lenders to get their money back because they realised that it, these policies were missold. And I took no notice of it, because I'm thinking, I haven't had any loans or anything like that. Now, I'm pretty good with things like that. I'm normally on the ball. Um, a few years back, they were advising us to claim back our bank charges, because they realised that these were done unlawfully, and banks were charging us some ridiculous amount of money if we went overdrawn, if they had to send out a letter. So, I mean, I followed on that quite sharpish, and I got back quite a lot of money from that. So I don't know why I've not really taken any notice of this one. So anyway, a few weeks ago I got a letter from um, a company called MBNA. Now I thought, oh, they're trying to get me to sign up for a credit card. So I just threw the letter to one side and took no notice of it. So when I decided to go through all my letters and open them and really take notice to see what was actually going on, I realised that in fact I took out a credit card, although it wasn't with MBNA, but this company had taken over my company, my card was with Virgin. And in fact, I did actually have payment protection. So straight away, I went downstairs, rummaged through my filing cabinet, went through all my paper, and saw that I did actually have this payment protection. So I've actually put in a claim now to get my money back. So the moral of this story is, you know, once again, it's about procrastinating and not taking action. Because right now, I could have over £4,000 sitting out there just waiting for me to collect and I would not have done anything about it. I would have just basically thrown that money away. So why leave money sitting on the table? That is, that is what I'm basically saying to you today. And as a result of doing that MBNA um, application, I've actually gone through all my paperwork and now realised that I've actually got quite a few payment protection insurances out there that I can claim against. So once again, you know, if you you know, do not hesitate to do something, just do it because you never know what you could be throwing away. So that's Michelle James over and out.